WWDC 2025 has been officially announced, and it will take place on Monday, June 9th, all the way to Friday, June 13th. Ever since 2020, WWDC events will primarily be an online event that is open to all developers at no cost. Now, every WWDC always begins with a keynote on the first day of the event, and this year's keynote will take place on June 9th, and there, Apple will unveil iOS 19, iPadOS 19, macOS 16, tvOS 19, watchOS 12, and visionOS 3. So this year we're expecting what is to be rumored a pretty radical redesign of iOS and iPadOS as well as macOS. If we want to play everyone's favorite game of analyzing the logo or announcement imagery, we can do that by seeing a rainbow WWDC design, while the 25 is the more interesting thing here, which has a frosted, slightly translucent white or gray color to it. This could hint at the redesign of iOS, as it is rumored to borrow some design cues from VisionOS, which features a lot of translucency. Of course, this could also be a complete reach, but that's what makes this game fun. And if you want to play along, let me know down in the comments if you're taking anything away from this logo that we see here for WWDC. Now, I recently made a video about the latest iOS 19 rumors, but to recap, this update is rumored to go beyond just a visual redesign. It's also going to change how users interact with their devices. Apple plans to update the style of icons, menus, apps, windows, and system buttons while simplifying navigation and control. The new changes are said to go well beyond a new design language and aesthetic tweaks. While specific dates are scarce, it is supposedly going to be the biggest update since iOS 7 and the most significant macOS update since Big Sur. Although some of the design elements are going to be taken from Vision OS, the update is only loosely based on the Apple Vision Pro. I also think iOS 19 might borrow some app design elements from newer apps that we've seen from Apple, like the Invites and the Sports app both of which feature updated visual and navigational elements that could influence the upcoming software. Aside from the keynote and announcements on Monday, June 9th, WWDC 2025 is a developer conference, so it's going to feature online sessions and labs where developers can learn about the new software features and how to integrate them into their apps. But if you want to watch the keynote, if you're a person like me who's obsessed with this type of stuff and just loves to see what's new with the software, because that is primarily what you interact with on a daily basis with these devices, hardware changes are fun, but I think software changes are some of the more exciting things. Um, um, you can do so by going to Apple's developer website, Apple's website, or even Apple's YouTube channel. Although WWDC 2025 is primarily an online event, Apple is planning a special in-person component for specific developers and students that get selected. Uh, but this in-person WWDC event will take place on June 9th again at Apple Park's campus in Cupertino. And invited attendees will be able to watch the keynote and the State of the Union at Apple Park, as well as meet with some Apple employees. And there are also challenges for students and some developers. So if you want to enter a chance to be able to be going to this, you can just check out Apple's developer website for more details. Now, as I said earlier, I absolutely love WWDC. It's my favorite Apple event of the year. It's probably because it like marks the beginning of summer and like the beginning of some really fun beta testing for new software, if you're a nerd like me. But I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. What are you excited for this year? And of course, share your thoughts on the rumors surrounding the redesign down below. This has been Dale with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you around in the next video.